Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video for Wing Sound, we're going to look at how you can sync Tractor Pro 2 and Ableton Live using the Tractor Virtual Output. Let's start by first going into our preferences. You want to make sure that you start on the Controller Manager tab. We're going to go ahead and add a device. We're going to select Generic MIDI. Instead of assigning any mappings like you would with a MIDI controller, we're simply going to set our import from all ports to none and our out port to tractor virtual output. Next, we're going to go into the MIDI clock tab and then select send MIDI clock. We're also going to want to make sure that sending offset is set to 0ms. Once you have these set in the preferences, close out of the preferences, you're going to want to open up your master clock section now. To open up the master clock settings, go up to the top section and then click on the metronome icon. This will change from the effects view to the master clock section. Now that we've set up Tractor Pro 2 correctly, let's jump into Ableton Live and look at the preferences there. You want to make sure that you are on the MIDI sync tab. Under our MIDI ports, we have a new option that's the Tractor Virtual Output. This is the MIDI device that we just set up in Tractor Pro. Turn sync for the Tractor Virtual Output on. Up in the top left of Ableton Live, we now have a new button that's EXT. By pressing the EXT button, you will be telling Ableton to receive an external MIDI clock. Select that option, and let's jump back into Tractor to start sending our MIDI clock. Here we are back in Tractor, and we're going to press the play pause button under the send section of our master clock. Now, Tractor is sending out MIDI clock data. If we go back into Ableton Live, we can see that our BPM is now set to 140, the same as it is in Tractor Pro. There's a blinking yellow light here that indicates that we are syncing MIDI data. Another thing you'll notice is that we cannot play or stop Ableton Live because it's all being controlled by Tractor Pro 2. If you were to play a track in Ableton and Tractor right now, they would both be at the same BPM, but they wouldn't necessarily be synchronized and in time with each other. We're going to do this by playing the metronome in both applications and adjusting the MIDI sync delay so that both are playing at the exact same time. Start the metronome in Tractor by going up to the settings and selecting Tick. There's Tractor Pro 2's metronome. And then we're going to select the metronome button in Ableton Live. Right away you can hear that they don't sync up correctly. We're going to go back into Live's preferences. And you want to make sure that you twirl down the options for the tractor virtual output. You can see we have the option of MIDI clock sync delay. We're going to want to adjust this to a value that makes the two metronomes line up with each other. You can do this by clicking in this box and dragging your mouse up or down. Find the correct value. By setting this to the correct value, you can hear that the two metronomes are syncing up with each other. When you hear that the metronomes are in time with each other, you've set everything up correctly. Check out more of my videos at thedjpodcast.com. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology. 